Tonight at 6, new data shows men in Hartford are getting paid significantly more than women. In fact, a recent study revealed that gender pay gap. And as Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief A. Galal found out, it's something that leaders in the capital city are really trying to tackle. In the Hartford area, women under 30 make 90% of what men make. And folks I spoke with say they hope more can be done to help close the gender wage gap. I am clearly not surprised, but I am delighted that the conversation has started, that change is on the way. Michelle McFarland has lived in Hartford her whole life. She wants to see women compensated fairly for their work. Lots of folks are doing the best they can to support young folks and just the community in general, so more money is necessary. According to data from the Pew Research Center, the median annual income for young women in the Hartford area was $37,500, compared with $41,700 for men. If a woman is making less, that is even more of a burden on her and her family and compromises her ability to you know, support her family. Hartford City Councilwoman Tiana Hercules says wage audits are a good idea, in addition to supporting initiatives like free childcare and universal pre-K. Supporting women to be leaders and be industry leaders and enter um, into um, owning businesses. I think also supporting programs that encourage women and girls to enter into non-traditional careers, such as STEM careers. We compared the gender wage gap data with other parts of the state, and in the New Haven area, young women working full-time make 94% of what men make. At the end of the day, we're all trying to do the best we can to make it, and anytime we can make that easier for someone, we should, especially when we recognize they're working hard, not only at a job, but at home as well and in their communities. And one more thing Councilwoman Tiana Hercules mentioned that could help close the gender wage gap is more transparency surrounding salaries. Reporting in Hartford, Aya Channel 3, Eyewitness News.